Jesus' name. And if you agree, you can say amen. 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 Well, uh, it's good to be here. I'm going to move this thing out of my way in case you can't see me behind it. <laughs> There's a couple of things I'm comfortable in, with in life, and uh, one of them is being short. <laughs>
Then will the lame leap like a deer and the mute tongue shout for joy. Water will gush forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The burning sand will become a pool and the thirsty ground bubbling springs. In the haunts where jackals once laid, grass and reeds and propers will grow. And a highway will be there, will be called the way of holiness. It will be for those who walk in the way. Mm. I just felt that, and I didn't just say, I forgot to say that when I saw this water coming down, I, I felt God saying that this, um, as you continue to just press in and keep worshipping and worshipping, um, you know, with all of your heart, it's just, um, this rain coming, and I saw this dry part land just coming green again, green again. And I know it's not fit, just busy, it's a spiritual thing, you know. Like, I just wanted to encourage you guys in your worship, you know, um, just keep worshipping. Don't let anything stop you from worshipping because your sound is bringing healing to this land. Yes. And, um, you know, I thought of um, that scripture that says, um, what is it, Second Chronicles seven fourteen. Humble you, what is it? Um, you know, mm-hmm. humble yourself under the mighty hand of God and pray. What's that scripture you saw? No, <laughs> My people. And he will heal the land, you know, like it, that's the scripture, Second Chronicles yeah. 7 14. Look it yeah. up yourself. But, um, you know, I just felt, and the spirit of Elijah, the spirit of Elijah said that it would turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, mm-hmm. and the children's hearts to the fathers, it would break the curse off the land. And I believe that. Even as God heals and brings this healing, there's going to be just expert, you know, exponential healing, joy, singing, peace, with peace on the land with many people are going to receive as you just keep worshipping him. And I don't usually do this, but I, what's your name there, brother? Yeah, the one that just looked no, next to you. What's your name? What is it? Brendan. Brendan. Brendan, I looked at you and I just felt the Lord say, um, Stand tall, stand true, because breakthrough is coming to you. Amen. And in many, I just saw that you're breaking. No, you're breaking through. That's what I heard. Stand tall, stand true, because you're breaking through. Amen. And I don't know if it's for your family too. Um, I don't know. Are you married? Are you married? No, no, no. But it's for your family as well. I just felt it's not just for you. It's for your family. You know. So stand tall, stand true, because you're breaking through. And I thought Amen. God kind of gave it to me like that so you remember it. Because <laughs> so I believe that's a promise from God for you, you know. Stand tall, stand true, because you're breaking through. So anyway, um, and on that, I'll just get to my other part on my phone. And so as I was praying, coming up here to see what God wanted to share, I just, well, there's a few scriptures in my devotions just recently that just, illuminated to me and I just know that Jesus is speaking to me through them and I just you know, started praying into it and I just felt it was a word for you guys here and um, I just, okay, who wants to grow in power and authority? Put your hand up. Yes. <laughs> okay. Who wants to grow in power and authority? I felt God say, say that question, right? I'm not saying arrogant power, I'm saying Jesus power and authority, you know? Like, mm. I wanted to ask you that question because here it says Jotham grew powerful because mm. he walked steadfastly before the Lord his God. Mm. And I felt to share that, that if you want to walk in authority and in power in Christ, mm. you must walk steadfastly mm. with the Lord. Mm. Steadfastly, do you know what that means? Unwavering. Yeah. Unwavering, and look it up for the rest, but I know it's unwavering. It's firm, fixed. Mm. And... Um, there's another scripture as well that's in 2 Chronicles 25. It says, this is talking about uh, Amaiaz, Amaiaz. And it says, he did what was right in the, eye, in the eyes of the Lord, but not wholeheartedly. That stood out to me the other week. Mm. And I felt the Lord, and if you read on, it said that he got rid of all the idols of his father and that, but he didn't follow through with bringing justice with, with other things that God had said, like, you know, he had to go all the way and, and the, mm. it was, I think it was about the children. He didn't, you know, just have no mercy for sin. You know, like he, he stopped. Mm. And I just felt God wanted me to share that. And I'll say it again. He did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, but not wholeheartedly. Mm. And there is a place in God that you can be doing what's right in the eyes of the Lord, but mm. not wholeheartedly. Mm. You know, and uh, God wants us to go all mm. the way. Yeah. The unwavering, steadfast faith. Mm. Unwavering, steadfast faith. 
And then there's a third scripture, and it's from Isaiah 7, and it says, um, I won't read the first part, it says, if you do not stand firm in your faith, you will not stand at all. Woo, that's a good scripture, isn't it? I kind of like that myself. God, sometimes you need to hear that. You need to stand firm in your faith, or else you won't stand firm at all. And in these days, in these times, we need firm, unwavering, steadfast faith, authority, and power in Christ to stand what's going on. Because it's, 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 it's full on time we're in right now. And we need to be firm, fixed, our eyes on Jesus, and know who we are in Christ with the love of the Father and the love of Jesus in our lives. Because it must be compelled by love. We must experience his love so we can give his love. And when you know that love and you're in love, it's easy to not have, to have faith. Faith worketh by love. It's easy to be steadfast because it's not a religion. It's a faith. It's a love with God. You're in love with him. And it's easy. So my encouragement to you is stay firm in your faith. Steadfast. Unwavering. Because this in this day and age, we need it. There's so much unbelief doubt in the world right now. Amen. So much. And Jesus paid a high price to set us free from absolutely everything. Amen. His blood was enough. The cross was enough. And so just stand firm. So if I can, it was in Isaiah 7, one of those scriptures. Um, one I haven't got down there, but I'll give it to you. You can come to me and ask me after. The other one was 2 Chronicles 25. You know, just remember those scriptures because God loves you with an everlasting love and he, he wants, the bride is going to arise and shine in brilliance in this hour and just have faith in him. Don't let the unbelief of this world waver you out of what Christ did for you on the cross because he loves you so much. Anyway, God bless you guys. Be encouraged. Amen.